everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we will be doing our how I plan to pay off my debt and I do have some new inserts here that I will be going over. We have debt snowball and we have debt avalanche. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I already mapped out, to make it a little easier, um, I got my planner over here. I've already filled it out on another paper, but I was just jotting down, going through, getting all of my debt together, and that way I could kind of get a bigger picture of what's going on. So here it is here. So now I'm just basically going to rewrite it. I'm going to put in the date and I'll probably fast forward through that and I'll come right back. Okay, you guys. So my total is 19,000. Here it is. 357.96. I swear this is what it was the last time I checked but maybe not. So only thing I forgot to write in, but I went ahead, I added it in on the calculator, but I didn't write it in was my car note, my car loan, and I owe $13,257.24 on that. And the minimum payment is 363.20. Okay, so I made a mistake on my earlier one. I actually wrote on, that avalanche so i made these inserts for myself but as usual i love to share so I'll, I'll make them available but i wanted to make sure that everything was right um looking at them um everything looks pretty good um they will come in all sizes including letter so let me mark this up here's what my plan is you guys i will be using the debt snowball method. Also, I'll be using the avalanche method. And here's what I mean. So as you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit. So here, my lowest credit card is Victoria's Secrets. I only owe $42 left on it. So my snowball method, my next payment will be $42. Um, next, and then I've kind of mixed these up. So credit one actually comes after, um, Victoria's Secrets, that is $187. I'll rewrite it. Um, that's $187.18. The minimum payment is $30. So I'll start giving this one like $50 and try my best not to use it. I'm actually using it as a business credit card because um, it's actually only like a $300 limit. So I use it to get supplies sometimes if needed. So my goal will be to like, if I use this card, um, pay this off as much as possible, but if I need it, just pay it off at the end of the month, if that makes sense, okay? So then my next one would be um, Wayfair. Wayfair is 305. This ends on January 25th. Here it is. January 5th, 2022. So I need to have this paid off by then. So my debt snowball payment to them would be 100 okay? And then, like I said here, I would do 50 or pay off monthly, okay? And then um, next up would be the Walmart. Um, I got the Walmart card, you guys, to get ink for my um, toner for my laser printer, but I didn't bought everything but the ink, okay? And the ink is still high, and the limit here is 300 as well. It has some good perks to it, but I wanna pay it off. So the minimum payment is 25. Um, right now, my snowball payment, it'll probably be like 50. That's what I've been giving them is 50 until that's paid off, okay? And then, so next up is Ulta. Ulta, my snowball payment would be 50 until I can get to um, paying them off. And then the next one would be Capital One. It's down here, it should be here. Um, I was just going to order that I was looking them up. So Capital One, I owe them $400, but I wanna get them not necessarily paid off, but a low balance on them so that they can kind of um, 
increase my line only because I have savings accounts there and checking account there as well. But I will be doing $50 with them as well. Okay. And then let's move up to community. Community, this card started out being a Wayfair card, but then Wayfair uh, left them and went with Citibank, but I still had the card. So I was still using it thinking it was Wayfair and it was not. So um, that's only a $500 limit as well. So, and this is only a $500 limit. So uh, my goal is to pay this one off. So I wanna also be giving them a hundred to pay them off and like no use, okay? Ulta, my goal is to pay them off. There's some things I want right now, but I'm just not going to purchase them. My goal is to pay them off as well. Um, Capital One, like I said, we won't be just like paying them off. It's going to be like an emergency card for me. Um, Citibank, which is Best Buy. This is where I got my <sighs> colored laser printer for. That's what I originally got it for. When I realized, I'm just being honest, you guys. When I realized that I could use it everywhere else, <laughs> assist ran it up and the limit is a thousand as you can see that i'm over it the minimum payment is three thirty three dollars and ninety two cent so that's just going to keep me you know there so they also will be getting 50 um to 100 on this card to get that paid off barclays here's where i'm going to tap into the avalanche method um the interest rate on this is so high so let me put Barclays over here on this avalanche. And let me look up the interest on this. So I'll be moving Citibank, Barclays and Citibank on the avalanche. So um, yeah, as you can see, this is already filled out and you do that. So anyway, um, my interest rate on Barclays is 26.99%, super high. This is my uh, minimum payment. I've been trying to give them a hundred. It's bringing the total down because I was at 2700. It's bringing it down, but the interest is still occurring on it. So, but whenever there's extra, anything extra, we'll go to Barclays first. Anything super, super extra, <laughs> we'll go to Citibank next. And Citibank is a 25.24% interest and um, that amount is $1,002.92. As you can see, again, I am over on this card. This card, the limit was $2,000. I'm over by $543. I'm over by $2.92 on this one. That's because interest kicked in after a certain time. And um, the minimum amount here is $33.92. Um, I've been given $40, and it says $40 like three years. So if I pay $40 or $33 just minimally, It'll take me three years to pay this off. <laughs> no. So anything extra, again, along with the payment, will go here as well. So here is my plan. <sighs> Y'all, it's so stressful. Like, looking at this, my goal was to pay my car loan off in 2020. And this loan started out like at 17000 I believe. And I got the car in 2018. What I'm like, this should have been easy to pay off, but you know, COVID happened. So again, I'll have Victoria's Secrets paid off. I just made a payment. It's due on the first of the month. My goal is anything extra I'm going to pay. I'm sorry. The anything extra I'm going to give them like this week coming, hopefully, and I'll have them paid off before another payment is due. Walmart, uh, that's just, uh, well, credit one. Um, I just know I cannot, I could possibly have this paid off. I'm going to do everything I can to probably, probably have this one paid off this month as well. Um, because it's only 187. And then what I like to do is give them, um, 50 here, 50 there. And something else I've been munching on is my loan. I've been throwing extra at that because that was like 700 and I just kept giving them 50, 50. Um, I got this loan last year, it was originally 1500. So um, I want to definitely um, continue to munch at that along with this credit one. And then um, Ulta, you know, it's a store card. I'm still gonna give them like 50. I'm not going to too much worry about that one. Uh, community, I definitely want to pay this one off as well. And so um, I have 100, but I'll probably be doing between 50 and 100 on that one. And if I can't, I'll do the minimum amount on that one. Um, 
and then this Wayfair definitely want to get them out the way because like I said I want this paid off by the date so I won't be putting anything else anything else on this Wayfair card like I'm learning that because I have like I think I have a $1,200 limit on this Wayfair I'm not ordering nothing else I'm gonna pay this off and then there, like I want a, a new um, dining room table or a kitchen pub table like I said I cannot get it until I pay this off so that's my thing now and then I'll work on that and then I'll at least try to have half of what that item is to go so as soon as I use it I can pay on it you know what I mean so I'll be making envelopes for some furniture and things like that um and thinking of envelopes you guys I'm not doing stuff in envelopes this week because it just wasn't there and I really hated I couldn't do one I had to go into my ones and fives I finally dipped in there and took out to put to my bills but I think I've found out what's going on with my um money and where it's going um if a bill is due especially credit cards they're not coming out to the following week. So basically, I'm um, a week behind. So my week ahead envelope will definitely help. It'll serve like kind of as a buffer. So I definitely need to build that up. I did not touch that buffer. I wanted to, but I said, no, I got to build this up so that this can stop happening. So basically, when I'm paying bills, they're coming the way they're coming out, because let's say uh, it's due on a Friday, I could pay early in the week. But then the money is just gone. I, I, Y'all, I don't know. But anyway, so that is going to be my system for paying this off. And again, Barclays and Citibank, they will be getting anything super extra that I have. The car loan, um, I'm going to look into like the interest on this. I think I've seen the interest. It's really, my interest on here is like, I think 7%. Um, on my car loan, which is really good, um, considering every all my other interests on all these other cards. So I'll just give them an extra 50 or so towards the um, interest and not necessarily the payment, I think. I'm going to definitely um, do my research on that. And again, like with Capital One, just give them extra because they're, you know, they're accruing interest too. And I believe my percentage rate on this card here is 24% um, percent as well. Um, so, and the loan, like I said, I'm just throwing extra at them every week just to get it down because that's a big chunk. This 9611 and it's due on the same day as half of my car note. So if I could get rid of that, that would be perfect. Um, that would definitely help out. And then I would take this and start putting it towards um, Barclays or... Um, you know, another credit card. And that would help me to use this as a business card or eventually use my Capital One as a business card and then being able to pay that off. This Credit One, it was only for vacation purposes, but then I decided to use it as business purposes. And so now I want to get rid of this. It's unnecessary. Close it out and um, just use my Capital One. Eventually, I don't want this Barclays anymore. Even though it's the highest limit credit card I have, I don't like them because they'll send you an email after you pay your payment. Why don't you get ahead and pay your bill now? No, I do not want to. I just paid y'all. So I'm definitely, I'm going to get rid of this card. Um, my Citibank, the Best Buy card, I feel like I would need that for like getting stuff for my business, but I think I'm going to let that go as well. And I know people say, well, once you get rid of your cards, your credit score is going to dip. At the moment, I'm not looking to purchase anything big, like a home or a car, uh, where I need to have that credit score. So I know my score will rise again, especially once I start paying on some of these things. So I don't care. I don't care about the dip in my um, credit score. But that is my payoff plan, you guys. What is your method, if, you've, uh, if you are debt-free, what is your method of paying off debt? And do you use the debt snowball or do you use the avalanche? Like I said, I'll be doing both. Um, I just figured that would be the best way for me. I mean, to each his own, but I just think paying the smallest to the largest is fine. But in my case, because I'm already over um, on the Barclays and the Citibank, I feel like I need to pay these off, but also at the same time, throw everything at these because they're accruing interest and it's killing me you know like 
someone may say, well, why don't you just do Avalanche all together? But I just don't want these other ones just lingering because they too will be accruing interest. Like I know Capital One definitely accrues interest. So I definitely want to just get these kind of paid down and then at the same time do this avalanche method. And then who's to say maybe later I'll just go into street avalanche, you know. So I'm going to add the date. But that is it. I hope this was helpful to someone who may have some credit or a debt that looks similar to mine. Um, let me put this date. And then once I pay it off, I'll put the date there. So I'm going to go over this just real quick. Um, again, this is the debt snowball method. This is that snowball uh, payoff insert. And you have your start date and then you'll put your payoff date. It does come front and back so that way if you have a lot of debt you can just roll it over and it will be a download and then you can put your um this is the first one so it's a little smaller so you have more room on this side um so you can put list your debt here the amount of the debt that means the total amount and then the minimum payment that you pay now and then your snowball payment um if you want to like put your dates and stuff like that you can just add them to the side that you paid it or whatever but this is just give you a method of how to pay it off just give you a look a bird's eye view of what you're dealing with and how you go about paying it off and then there's room at the bottom so you can write in your total so that way if you need to bring all your debt down to the bottom you can and then on this side as well so that way you just have a kind of bird's eye view of what you're doing and it, to me i needed this because i need to see i need to see it this way i don't know about anybody else like i've written it on pen and paper and a notebook that was fine but still i couldn't grasp of like breaking it down you know what i mean i just couldn't break it down that way so i had to break it down um, digitally and then print it to make it to write it down this way to see and I, I can I'm, I see it much better put it like this I see it much better now that it's in it's categorized for me so um, if your brain thinks like mine here you go <laughs> so um, I'll probably list these mm, by the time you get this video it may be listed um, if not, send me a reminder because your girl just got so much going on. But again, I apologize. There is no cash stuff in this week. Prayerfully, we'll be back on it next week. And also, I'll have my monthly budget closeout coming. It's all about the budget this week because it is the first. So, we'll have monthly budget closeout. We'll have... Um, our October budget which I'm also behind and then we'll have our weekly budget and then I'll be setting up this planner this week so you guys will get about four or five videos out of me this week so I will talk to you later I hope you enjoyed today's video if this today was your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you love videos like this and you want to come back for more do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comment section, letting me know that you are new or that you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.